actually it is a quite a pleasant surprise when I got the call. Uh, I don't know, I mean, mainly when I saw the other people's name, I don't know, I didn't know that whether I am qualified to be here, uh, looking at the other panelists, but yes, it was quite a honor and quite a pleasant surprise to get that call. And last one day, which I spent with the people around, I realized such an important initiative for the region. I'm pretty sure that some real positive thing will come out of it. Two, three months back, the same, uh, due to a similar question, I did a little research on the, the whole thing. Uh, the first five months of this year, from January to May, I was just looking at the different cinemas which, I mean, different language cinemas which released or got censored. And I realized that the highest number of films censored in the first five months of the year was Malayalam. Okay. And it was some 70 odd films got censored. Okay. Whereas just four or five SMS films. Okay. And as part of 2011 censors, Malayalam, uh, Kerala has a population of 2.33 crore, 2 crore 33 lakhs. Whereas the Assam's population is supposed to be 2.13. So there's a 20 lakhs difference and a difference of 65 watt flame. So my obviously next question was that why is this difference? Then I did little more digging and I came across a news item on 2012 Hindu newspaper where they said that uh, there's a hue and cry in Trivandrum because the cinema halls in Kerala are closing down. And it used to be some 1600 cinema hall and now only 615 are remaining. And when I looked at Assam, I realized the number of cinema hall is 40 odd. Okay. So along with everything else, I think the main problem lies there. Yes, the cinema hall owner will say Assamese film doesn't run. The Assamese film makers will say that we don't get cinema hall. But basically that fact remains that if you take the last super hit Assamese film, that which ran for some 25 odd weeks, still I was told they did not break even. They did not even make that 90 lakhs required to break even. They made some 60, 65 lakhs after running for 25 weeks. Whereas that across the country, the people are looking for one week or five days break even. So till that time, the number of cinema hall increased. And what I was told that till 90s, cinema hall actually were much more. We were 190 odd cinema halls were there till that dictated comfort of the terrorist organization, the underground organization that you need to, you cannot show Hindi films and the cinema hall started shutting down. Uh, it's a second and the story, I mean, which is going to come first, but I think because of all this region, the entire culture of going to cinema hall for entertainment with a family has kind of died down. Until that thing revived, it's very difficult to see a positive picture of the Assamese film industry. Again, in second and the story, I mean, you cannot expect the government to just make cinema hall, is a, they will say it's a private listing. But if you look at, for example, I'm hopeful, if uh, looking at the Assamese theater industry, till the mobile theater came into the um, being, Assamese theaters were also going to a very bad phase. And then one fine day, one young guy at that time, a Chukloker, decided that if you're not coming to the cinema hall, and even if you're not coming to the theater, I'm going to your doorstep and showing you there. Are you going to come or not? And now it is the biggest entertainment industry of Northeast. It may be the only place in the world where the film stars work in the theater to make money and work in the film to get the limelight. Uh, similarly, so that only proves that we have audience. But the, I think the time has gone when you expect the people to travel, uh, hire a bus and travel kilometers with the entire village to see a film. You have to reach out to them. If nothing else, I think the time has come for something like a mobile cinema. If, like mobile theater, this concept of mobile cinema is introduced, I am fairly sure that it will be a huge success. Uh, right now, I am in the final stage of a documentary called Guns and Guitars, uh, which should be over in, within this year and within this next month. And few plans are in place. One of the next film I'm looking forward to is called A Shot in the Dark. It's a film on how football has got a team of young stars back into the uh, mainstream from insurgency. 
which we are hoping to shoot in this monsoon. There are a lot of dreams. Let's see where it ends up. Thank you. Thank you.